Mm -hmm. um, and consequently, uh, if, it, if you don't benefit from it, that means you stay home <laughs> and you're not coming to the events mm -hmm. because if, if you go to one of your after hours events at the chamber, uh, that's very reasonable. Mm -hmm. You get to meet a lot of people and you say bring a lot of business cards. Mm -hmm. And I hear more people get referrals for other services from that as you, I've seen you those over the years. But the important thing is uh, you've got to get back to what you give, mm -hmm. and not dues so much as just your participation. And now you're chairing the Taste of Bowie and the Fashion mm -hmm. Show, which we get back to. And have you had any, um, any people get upset because they weren't selected to be a model? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly? No. <laughs> not, not that I'm aware of. Well, the, the, but the nice thing about selecting the models, too, has been <laughs> it, as a way of getting some newer members involved, right. we have asked some of them to be models. You know, it's, it's a way to draw people in. Oh, yeah. um, and there's people who have done it for several years who say it's somebody else's turn. I mean, everybody's good about doing it, mm -hmm. but it's always nice to have new faces out there and give those new members the opportunity to strut their stuff. Sure. <laughs> And the participation of the businesses, they furnished the uh, wardrobe, I guess, Joseph A. Banks, you said. Yeah, men. the women uh, from clothes from Dress Barn and the men clothes from Joseph A. Bank. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Uh, and if you've been to Joseph A. Bank lately with someone, there's expensive clothes there, I'll <laughs> say. So they look good on you. Mm -hmm. The uh, And to the event coming up, which is the primary thing we really want to remind people of, mm -hmm. so short time. And we've talked about the scholarships that are benefit from that. And this opportunity of the Taste of Bowie, uh, last year we had a lot of people comment, I heard, that, you know, that's the way to go. It worked well together. Mm -hmm. And they, there's some people that prefer to stay in Bowie for eating out mm -hmm. for dinner. And quite frankly, years before you arrived here, you had one or two choices, then you had to either go to Baltimore or Washington, D.C. And uh, it's still nice to go, <laughs> even occasionally. But we're getting much greater, and the people you've named there, they've got a pretty good reputation for good food. The Cakery, been a member for the Chamber a very, very long time, and participate over the years. But they, I've been in other communities, and they know I'm from Bowie, and they'll say, by the way, I've been to Bowie, and they come to that specific cakery mm -hmm. with a college park the other day. And I thought, how did you know about them? Mm -hmm. And they were referred to them. And I thought I'd give credit for the chamber, but that didn't happen. <laughs> but so all of that's important. And they, this is all volunteer work they do to be there to take the merchants and food mm -hmm. people. But they'll also are contributing their uh, taste to Bowie at no cost to the event. Correct. They exactly. do not pay to participate in the event. And they don't pay, and they're not charging. They provide the food, and, and they show up, and we provide the tables and chairs and cups and spoons and plates Great. and forks and everything that they need other than them bringing their food and warming trays and whatever that's serving pieces yeah. they need. Well, couldn't, uh, in your business, um, the, the difference between your business and my business You've got to buy it to sample it, but <laughs> right there you can sample all of these organizations right. that are participating there, mm -hmm. and you didn't, they didn't have to do that, but they're supporting not only the event, but the mm -hmm. things for Shropton and Center, of course, mm -hmm. the Chamber. So I would imagine, uh, you know, it's interesting when you look together about selecting the models, uh, being a model in the event yourself, and going to have clothes from what is the name Just of it? Best part. Um, people, you know, ordinarily don't talk, like to talk about themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ever met a good politician, if they're very honest with you, that's the toughest thing on the, they do, is talk about themselves. And they tell me that over and over and over. And any time you meet one that loves to talk about himself, <laughs> I usually don't vote for him. Because you can tell. But just... Today is election day, but you know I yeah. got by the vote and you guys have. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing, the turnout looked kind of slow today because it may have been Maryland's rule about uh, being able to vote early. That may have made a difference on the lines mm -hmm. today. But after this is all over, it seems like your event is very timely because those people that 
were happy with the election results, they should go out and celebrate at the fashion show and the taste of buoy. Absolutely. And those that didn't get who they wanted elected, they should come and participate to get a lift mm -hmm. of this nice event you're having. And of course, um, we mentioned the uh, people that were furnished in the wardrobe. We mentioned the organization with the food, mm -hmm. Optimus. But let's talk about this group of, um, there's some business people in there. You mentioned Al Bauman. Mm -hmm. He's a banker. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the models is Dan, uh, Mark Melvin. And he's a business person. Mm -hmm. And we could go on down the list. You're mm -hmm. in an organization and a business person. And so this is not the usual thing to happen. But last year, a lot of people asked me, where did you get those models? There's some of them they'd probably not ever seen before. They got to taste the book. They didn't realize that they were members of the chamber or mm -hmm. friends of the m members of the mm -hmm. chamber or whatever it may be. But what else can we say now to urge people to get over there to the event? Call the chamber. Call yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> it's tickets are still available. Yeah, tickets are still available. Um, it's a fun event. We also um, have a lot of donations for raffle baskets. So we have about oh, a right. dozen really nice raffle baskets. Minimum is that their worth is about $100 each. And we raffle those also as part of the, you know, raising funds for the scholarships. Oh, so cool. the raffle baskets are available. We do a 50-50 drawing. Um, the MC for the show who, who was, did it last year and is doing it again this year is um, Vinay McNary Edwards, who's a hoot and she is at mm -hmm. Washington Savings Bank and has mm -hmm. a great personality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and does a really good job with emceeing the fashion show. So that'll be a lot of fun. We usually have about 200 people attend. It's a full room and it's mm -hmm. just a whole lot of fun. Oh, yes. no, it would be. Now, she's uh, also a board of, member of the board of directors, right? She is this year, yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you about some other things going on now with your committees because which committee that how it spearheaded this for the chamber? Women in Business Committee. Women, that's right. And the Women in Business Committee, uh, do you have any men in your committee? <laughs> no men as of yet. <laughs> well, I remember Roy Dabney when he was um, county council one time and he was on the park and planning. And also, uh, he and I joined uh, a women's group at the time. And he said, why not? I said, well, I didn't think we should, Roy, but he did. <laughs> And it was kind of neat, and it may have been the early going zone. I always felt like that, you know, you didn't want to do that. You want to keep everybody involved in the chamber and so forth. But the Women in Business Committee has been an outstanding committee in the chamber. It's very obvious, mm -hmm. one of the hardest working. And I think you should be very proud of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and Kelly, I, you had so much to do with that, mm -hmm. I know. The interesting thing about the committee effort, it's all volunteer, and it's tough enough meet your commitments on the board, but chair people of certain committees. Uh, like I noticed your past president, uh, Brian Shawcross of the Baysock, is now cha uh, chairman of the, one of the committees. Education. Uh, education. So what do they do? I know what the, the leadership comes through that committee, right? The leadership uh, committee or the, for the young people or oh, youth what? leadership buoy. Leadership buoy. Is that going through that committee? Um, not directly under the committee. They're kind of their own group, and they have their own steering committee. Oh. Brian's a member of that. Mm -hmm. The current chair of the steering committee is Jim Dixon, um, who was at Bowie State University, and um, he's you know stayed involved with that. He lives in the community. Mm -hmm. um, and the education committee has, over the years, given they had a scholarship program at one time. They've done, um, they kind of switched their focus off scholarships and for several years did educational grants to schools mm -hmm. that needed up to $250 to help make a program happen. And we did that for several years. Mm -hmm. um, so they're still working on coming up with some programs and some plans. Well, that's good. The uh, Louis State's always been very supportive of the chamber. Mm -hmm. over the years. The uh, president, uh, who now is li in Maryland again, he, he went to Louisiana, was president of the chamber, the president of Blue State, uh, Jim. Jim Lyons. Lyons. So they've always been very supportive. But we've got about five minutes left. And um, I'd like to know, if, how do you feel about the business incubator program that the city has been 
promoting. Are you familiar with it? I am. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lane and I are also both on the, the city's economic development committee. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and, and off of that committee is another group now that's formed that's um, the business incubator mm-hmm. program. Um, so there is a, a board of directors for that and they form their own 501c3 and, and are moving forward and have worked out um, or are, are near the end of working out the final details of a use and ocu- occupancy agreement with Bowie State University. The incubator will be located there mm-hmm. in the new School of Business and Graduate Studies. There's a new building on campus to the left when you first come in and um, on the third floor there's one hallway and wing that is going to be available for the incubator that will house the administrative staff plus up to 10 um, tenant business mm-hmm. tenants in the beginning. That's great. So, exciting project, yeah. It's oh, it along. is, and if you look around, it, it, these things have happened for a very long time. The one at the University of Maryland, I was there early on when they started, and I was there within a year or two ago. And there was one individual just recently there got a $50 million uh, program contract mm-hmm. uh, from, I think, the Defense Department. And they had been there for a few years, and it was a former student of Maryland that was there. And the key, I think, to the success of that, and I've been involved with several. We had one in Hydefield, uh, AT&T at the time. Uh, it may have been Bell uh, at the time, Atlantic. Uh, telephone co- their telephone building, they were willing to donate it, uh, at least the first two floors to an incubator. And we went to the far ahead with it. We had a committee reformed, and I was uh, with John Hanson Bank. And we hired the executive director there, and he was excellent. But when, before they got it all completed, the telephone company wanted to use their building back. <laughs> and not that they passed up the promise they gave us, they said, well, we'll give you two floors. And consequently, it worked very well. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you probably know who was uh, one of the leaders there, and I won't get into the Marilyn Kiss at the time. Uh, was one of the people that helped work on it. But it works well, and uh, I know it's going to be successful. The key, I think, is getting a, a good, well-experienced, and well-known, if possible, executive director. That seems to be the key to those things that work. It. So we're going to wrap up. Anything else you want to say? No, join us next Wednesday. November be a fun 10th. time. Yes. And you want to give the contact number? For sure. The phone number at the Chamber Office is 301-262-0920. And we can take Visa and MasterCard and um, well, check or cash we, we for the tickets. We don't want to get too commercial. Too commercial. But all of this is for actually nonprofit organization. Mm-hmm. We realize that. And I'm glad the Chamber is so involved with, with the Seroptimus. That's excellent. Always been great. Seemed like that. That seemed to be the difference. So when you get those hard looking working members over there, you know, <laughs> and you'd think that you're going to have a big audience there just from the models bringing their families there. You know. <laughs> Thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. Enjoyed Thank you. it.